All right, for this question, question five, triangle CLG and triangle AER are isosceles triangles with CL, line segment CL, is congruent to segment AE, and I marked them there in blue. HG is congruent to ZR, I marked those in orange, and then finally, angle L is congruent to angle E, I marked those in green. Prove that CH is congruent to AZ. So we're trying to show that this is the same length as this here. Um, but first, let's use what we know to start gathering an understanding of what's going on here. So let's say um, we know we want to find that those two lengths are congruent. I would want to start, I think, with showing that the, con the triangles are congruent. So first of all, we know that these are isosceles triangles, so I know that this side, and I'm talking about LH plus HG, so LG, is congruent to LC, right? These lengths are all congruent, and in fact, they're congruent to each other. So all four of these side lengths are congruent. That's LC, LG, EA, and ER. Great. Well, <clears throat> it looks like already we know that we have angle, side, angle, side, right? So I'm just going to say by side, angle, side, triangle CLG is congruent to triangle AER. Good. So we know that those are congruent. And since we know that those are congruent by CPCTC, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. We know that, maybe I'll use a different color here, use pink and say that CG is congruent to AR. So CG is congruent to AR and we also know that um, this angle right here, G, is congruent to angle R. Because those are corresponding parts of those two triangles. Cool. So, we have enough information here to focus and hone in on these little triangles. CHG and ARZ. Right. We have side angle side. By side angle side, we know that triangle CHG is congruent to angle, sorry, triangle AZR. And since those are congruent, we know by CPCTC that all the corresponding parts are congruent. So therefore, we know that CH is congruent to AZ. So I'll just mark that in black.